olfactory function tests. Olfactory function test can be divided as subjective and objective. Subjective test can be threshold test, identification test, and discrimination test. Examples of threshold tests are smell threshold test and TNT olfactometer. Examples of identification tests are upset, TNT olfactometer, oros sticks, open essence. Uh, an example of discrimination test is odorant confusion matrix. Coming to the examples of objective test, they are electro olfactogram or BEAM that is brain electric activity monitoring or OERP that is olfactory event related potentials. First test is smell threshold test which is a subjective type of threshold test. It attempts to quantify the most dilute concentration of a particular odorant that an individual can detect. It uses phenyl ethyl alcohol as an odorant, threshold employed using a staircase procedure and can be done unilaterally or bilaterally. Next test is upset test which is a subjective type of identification University of Pennsylvania Smell Identification Test or also known as Smell Identification Test is the most widely used test, can be self-administered and takes 10 to 15 minutes, can be scored in less than a minute by a non-medical personnel and consists of four booklets containing 40 micro-encapsulated scratch and sniff type of odorants. The test results are in terms of percentile score of patient's performance related to the age and sex. Patient can be given a choice of four answers, therefore 25% chance of performance is there and anything less than 25% suggests malingering. Results can be categorized into six categories, that is normosmia, mild microsmia, moderate microsmia, severe microsmia, anosmia and probable malingering. Reliability of the test is very high. During the test, the nearest contralateral to the test site should be occluded without disturbing opposite nasal valve area. It can, we can also seal the nervous with a piece of microphone. Patient is instructed to sniff the stimulus normally and to exhale through the mouth. These are the booklets used in smell and fusion test. We have to scratch the area where the odorant is present and sniff it and identify the smell. Next test is TNT olfactometer which is an identification as well as threshold estimation type of subjective test. It is used in Japan. A rack containing eight concentration of five different odors are presented. Identification as well as threshold is possible. This is the rack of TNT olfactometer with five odors in eight different concentrations. Next is, is odorant confusion matrix, which is a discrimination type of subjective test. Here, 10 single chemical odorant of common household items and one blank is presented to the patient randomly. The subject has a list of 10 odorants and must match it. The same sequence is then presented 9 more times and the result is plotted as a matrix. Total score can be calculated from the diagonal. Trends showing improvement or decrement that is fatigue or adaptation during the test can all be understood. Coming to objective test, first is electro olfactogram. Electro olfactogram is an objective test. It measures electric potential across the ol olfactory epithelium by placing electrodes over it. When odorant stimulates the receptor cell, a slow negative sweeping voltage is seen. This is the recording of electro olfactogram. Next is beam test, which is also an objective test. Brain electric activity monitoring. It can display individual response to a particular odorant. Color topographic mapping of cortical activity during sniffing is recorded. A similar test is olfactory event related potential or OERP. It helps to assess the integrity of olfactory pathways. EEG is used to record discerning synchronized brain activity following brief presentation of odorants, but it cannot locate the exact site of pathology and can be used to detect malingering. Thank you.